Hi guys, welcome back to Tenorshare channel. If you run into any issue on your phone, whether it's crashes, frozen screens, or other software glitches, a hard reset is the fundamental troubleshooting technique to save your day. So here is a full guide on what it is and how to do this with some helpful tips. Let's get started. Before we get into the tips, it's important to understand the difference between a hard reset and a factory reset. According to Apple, a hard reset is like a force restart. It can do a complete clean reboot on your iPhone to resolve various software issues such as crashes or getting stuck, and this will not lose any data, so it's a must-know way to fix your iPhone. But when you do a factory reset on your phone, it will delete all your personal data, including apps, photos, videos, contacts, messages, and any custom settings or preferences you have configured on your iPhone. Your phone's system will be back to the original state, just like when you first got it. So, if you want to refresh your phone to get better performance, do a hard reset first. To perform a hard reset on your iPhone, make sure to follow the steps specific to your iPhone model. Here, I will use hard reset to fix this recovery mode stuck issue to show you guys. The process is the same, and this covers all the models, so you can choose the part that you need to learn. For iPhone 8 and later, press and release the volume up button, then the volume down button, then keep pressing the side button until you see the Apple logo, just that simple. For iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, press and hold both the volume down and side buttons simultaneously. Keep holding these buttons. Release the buttons when the Apple logo appears, then your phone will be back to normal. For iPhone 6S or earlier, press and hold both the home button and side button simultaneously until the Apple logo appears. If your iPhone still has issues, try resetting all settings. Go to Settings, tap General, then Transfer or Reset iPhone, and choose Reset All Settings. This will improve system performance by fixing software glitches and restoring default configurations but it won't erase personal data or affect your eSIM. Okay, if you want to sell or give away your iPhone, or simply need a brand new iPhone, here comes the factory reset part to reset your phone to the factory settings. Remember, this will erase all your data, so if you still need your data, you can back it up in iCloud on your phone, or back it up in iTunes on your computer. To factory reset your phone, the process is simple. Go to the Settings app, then to General. Scroll down and select Transfer or Reset iPhone. Tap on Erase, All Content and Settings. Then tap Continue and tap Erase iPhone. Then the Erase process will begin. You may find a different option in different iOS systems, but the process is similar. Wait for the process to finish and your iPhone will be restored to its default settings. If you forget your phone's passcode and it shows an unavailable screen or an iPhone security lockout, or your phone has some other issue, don't worry. You can use the Apple official tool, iTunes or Finder, to restore your phone back to factory settings on your computer. Part 3. How to factory reset iPhone with iTunes. They work the same way. So here I will show you how to restore your phone with iTunes. Just plug your phone into your computer. Then download and open iTunes. After this, you need to enter recovery mode on your phone. The process is similar to a force restart, but you need to hold the side button longer until the recovery screen comes out. Then you can choose restore to factory, reset your phone. It will download the matching firmware then start the restore. You can just wait through the process, we'll be okay. Okay, we hope you found these tips helpful. If this helped, please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions,
feel free to drop them in the comment below. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and hope to see you soon.